Hello everyone, today is Monday, November 1st, 2021 at 11.24 a.m. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. So, I was able to get to sleep pretty good. Well, I fell asleep after, I think it was about 2.30 this morning. And then woke up at almost 11. So, um, I couldn't get to run the errands that I needed to. I really needed to do them today, but when's, I mean, I'm hoping I can get my mail and, and get my, of course, the other errands I can run. But, you know, I know it's been a while since I went to pick up my mail. You know, so, um, I got so much I need to do. It's always like at the beginning of the month, you know, being on Social Security and SSI and all that. Well, I'm not on SSI right now because of my job, but with Social Security, um, either check, you know, you end up being... You know, disabled people are very, you know, busy at the end of the month. Whether you have a place or you're homeless, if you get that dog on check, you be busy, like running a lot of errands. So <clears throat> I know that when people get their check, sometimes they get the food stamps on the third of the month, also, or the fifth of the month, or somewhere around there. But me, it was so hectic trying to get food stamps, so that's why I was like, Psh, just not worried about it, you know, so, <clears throat> you, you know, like, back in, um, two years ago, I got food stamps, and all they were giving me was like, um, I forgot it was fifteen or eighteen dollars that they gave me, <clears throat> and, 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 or seventeen somewhere around there. And so it's like, and the, and the lady was abusive and rude to me, and stuff like that. So it's like, every time you try to go to the food stamp office or try to get, I mean. But people at the food stamp office, people at the social security office, and people at the DMV, and people at the Medicaid Medicaid office and stuff like that, um, or it's like they're always rude, very rude and condescending, and they look down on 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 us like as if we're less than them. Even the black employees, <clears throat> even the black workers, or or even the if you're on Section Eight, the Section Eight offers. I mean, uh, the Section Eight workers you sex you go to the section eight office and they treat they treat you a certain way you, you know so <clears throat> and then of course they're perps but they treat all their customers or i mean all the all everybody you know get treated really bad when you go trying to do business i mean social security they give you a hard time just simply trying to get your address changed in person if you move somewhere <coughs> and so they they act rude on purpose and try to provoke and try to trigger you and stuff like that <coughs> so i remember feeling kind of traumatized about how viciously rude two years ago that the food stamp worker was when i first got here to pensacola <clears throat> so, um, well, I'm in Pensacola metro area, the doggone perps already freaking know where, the online perps found out where I'm at, criminally, illegally, and undeservingly, and unlawfully, <clears throat> and, you know, Jessica's making threats to come down here, making threats at me, and stuff like that. <clears throat> 
and so um It's it's like Yeah, I heard it's against the law. Like I heard that like what happened at Sky Zone, I heard that that was against the law. That they weren't even supposed to tell confirm that yes, Candy does work here. Cuz in none of my videos before then I did not say at my job at Sky Zone but, you know, it's like nobody told Starbreaker to um, look for where I work at and then call him up and show them my videos. And she think that shit is funny. <clears throat> so, they, they can give a good damn, you know, if I'm back on the streets again. And they want me destroyed at all costs. Like... Wanting to be hell bent on trying to control my mental health. Online strangers trying to control your mental health. When mental health is evil, it's against God, and it's wrong. So, <clears throat> Star Bricker has a whole buy me a coffee website copying off of me. And then denying that she's a gang stalker. And, um... You know, she even makes comments on Stefan Adams' TIWatch.org channel. I mean, uh, blog. And, you know, they talk bad about only a small handful of us targets. And so, um, you're not allowed to expose them or else the bullying gets worse. Or destruct the destruction gets worse. Like, nobody told Stefan Adams to make a whole blog about Brian, too. And and actually, you know, stealing his videos and putting them up on YouTube and trying to make Brian out to look like a clown. And then it's like, if Brian is in, in a different country, it's like they blog and comment on wanting to question why he got, I mean, why he had an altercation Say, for example, with somebody at, at the airport when he's traveling or, or you know, if they want to question about him being homosexual and think it's funny. And, I mean, if, or, or question about the um, how he gets along with the people at the hostel and different in different countries and stuff. Or wonder why he got in trouble with the embassy or, or something. It's like, you way in America, even though Brian, too, is American, too. But it's like, get out of his business. Y you know, so, and y'all need to get out of mine, too. So, um, yeah, um... So I, I saw Star Bricker talking about how Candy talks slow, very slow. And it's like, well, you've been stalking and watching my videos for about two years now, lady. You, you know, so if you have a problem with me talking so slow, why are you watching my videos? If you have a problem with my ebooks, why do you um make remarks about my ebooks? So even J. Demon Rotten shit, Jessica... J Angel Raw Honey, she even, you know, she even put a false bad review on one of my ebooks also on Amazon. So now I got two perps giving me a one star, and ironically, their fake, rude, abusive reviews is not even genuine. It's not even genuine. It's not even genuine or honest, but it's just, you can tell that they're just freaking jealous and don't like me. But it's like, Jessica wants to copy off the hurt that other people are doing to me. And she, she even told me, I will be writing bad reviews on all your books. Yeah, trying to copy off a of star bricker. So again, like, if, if you're thinking... A certain author is so horrible. And, and I know Star Bricker did that on purpose to ruin my birthday. Because that was like a 
and then people see those two bad comments and then they, they'll be reluctant to buy the ebooks on purpose so I can't make my own money. <clears throat> so y'all y'all deliberately on you know on purpose sabotage my ebooks and you know you bullied me off of GoFundMe and my own Buy Me a Coffee webpage, which is kind of like another Patreon. I was planning on writing future short stories on, on the Buy Me a Coffee website. <clears throat> and they want to, I mean, they want to keep meticulous track of my finances. Um, they want to try to calculate how much money I could be making at my job and, you know, um, j just wanting to meddle in my personal business. And it's like, if you got a husband or a boyfriend, if you got children, you got a family, how can you keep up with both me and my twin sister? And then you'd say, oh, nobody got time to keep up with you. I got three jobs. Oh, I have a husband, I have children, I have this, I have that. But you got so much, you got more spare time than I do to keep up with both me and my twin sister. But you, 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 you pick a side and choose who to favor. And we all know who that is. <clears throat> so, you pick a side and choose who, who, to, who to choose favoritism. That you, you praise the very same things you criticize me for. You, you praise my twin sister for doing. I mean, I'm kind of scared to go to work today because I don't know what's going to be in store for me. I don't know what's going to be in store. But, I mean, <clears throat> yesterday I had... um. See, that's noise harassment. Somebody's um loud bass. I can't tell if that's loud bass or somebody idling their loud engine. <clears throat> but yesterday, I finally got my laundry done. And... I got a free T-bone steak to take home. I said I thought I wasn't going to go anywhere, but, you know, a manager at a restaurant gave me a free T-bone steak to take home. So yesterday for dinner, I had, um, yesterday for dinner, I had, um, you know, just steak and cheese, a slice of cheese, uh, you know, a modest, normal slice of cheesecake. I know, I know, I did bad. Because I'm freaking, you know, depressed and just trying to cope. And, um, I've been still trying to brush my teeth with the, um, with the salt, like him, pink Himalayan salt, baking soda water and um and bentonite clay and and this time around it seems like it hasn't been working for the past couple of days but it seems like the abscess is starting to get a little bigger and more painful and, and i heard that you know it can cause heart problems or it can poison your blood and i'm trying to see it trying to figure out how to do, you know, get rid of this without a dentist, you know, not having the money for a dentist, but I also, I know I need to, um, cut back on sweets, you know, despite what I'm going through, and, um, yeah, this thing seems like it's spreading, It's spreading past one tooth and it's like on my gum you, you know um 
yeah, this thing seems like it's spreading and getting bigger. But I think the last time I had a shower was Tuesday because of being depressed. But me, I felt like I had to force, you know, drag myself to work being depressed. And so, you know, it's like I'm not going to be penalized if I don't go to work today because of me having a temp position. But I feel like I have to go in order to make up, you know, have enough money for the, um, in order to have enough money for the, um, you know, to get to stay here. And I don't, I don't know what's going to be in store for me. Like every day, like for the past two weeks, because of the threats, every day I've been like scared to go to work, but go anyway and feel like I don't know what's in store, what's going to be in store for me. And then af after everything is normal, then I feel a relief, you know, so. So even at at the motel, was it summer two thousand twenty? I guess they they weren't supposed to let Star Bricker know that I stay there. You, you know, but when I exposed them perping me at the motel at the um Super Eight motel, I mean Super Six. Yeah, it was Super 6 Motel, not 8. Super 6. I don't think I ever stayed at Super 8. But Super 6 Motel um, on off of North Davis Highway. Super 6 Motel. That was where they gave me the bloody um, bloody blankets. I mean, bloody, um, a, like, looked like somebody took a, a pail of blood. It took, looked like somebody took a pail of blood and, um, a large pail of blood and just poured it on the bed. And the guy didn't even want to give me a different room to sleep in. That Not that time, but it ha that happened in, like, November 2019. <clears throat> but I didn't much know where else to go, though. You know, and I didn't know about extended stay hotels that could have been cheaper. Because at that place, to stay there was like, at one point it was like almost 400 a week to stay there. But sometimes it would be like 550 a week to stay there. And, and that place wasn't even, that, that place was kind of icky and dirty. You know, so <clears throat> it's like my anxiety is super high, you know, with being scared to go to work. And Friday, they had gang stalkers gang stalking me super heavy with one headlight on the campus. Who one of them disguised the dog in their car and think I didn't see that. And they, the, the person, did, she didn't even have any any children or any students in the car, just a dog. And passed by me when I was, and they gang stalked me super heavy when I go in the front entrance. So, I don't even know. It's like, I guess the online perps are trying to drive me to quit with the threats. I think they're trying to drive me to want to quit. And then they don't want to be exposed. That's why they, they're threatening anything it takes. If they're threatening to... Oh, and, and they're threatening to um get me banned from the library so I won't um go and expose, expose what they're doing, their harassment and threats online. And... And so, and, and so that they also, um, I said, well, fine, I, you know, if you want to get me banned from the library, that ain't going to stop me because I got my own laptop I can use. And it's like, and it's like, um, 
she wants to try to say, well, good, I, I'll, um, you know, tell them about your storage unit, and I know where your, exactly where your storage unit is and stuff like that, and <clears throat> like saying that, oh, oh, I know exactly wh where your storage unit is, and, you know, I'll call up your storage unit and get your place emptied out, and I'll tell them you're sleeping there and that you're putting rotten food in there and stuff. It's like I never slept in my storage unit, and I don't have food in there. So, <clears throat> you know, she's making threats to, um, you know, just so that I couldn't use my own laptop. And, um, I, I mean, I never had anybody this damn bizarre in my life. You know, making threats to have, <clears throat> making threats to have my, um, making threats to have my, my freaking, um, you, you know, my, my storage unit taken away and making threats to make sure I'm banned from everywhere and banned from Publix and banned from Winn-Dixie and banned from every restaurant, banned from, from this place and that place and, and everything. And I... And I said that I don't care. I mean, if if Alex shows up at my job, I will put him on film. I don't care if students are around. I will put him on film and make a big fucking scene. I'm not playing. I'm not going to put my hands on him. Or nothing. That's not what I'm saying. But, you know, I will let everybody know who he is. And I'm going to put him on film. If he shows up at my job, I promise you. I will put him on film and make a big scene and let everybody know who he is. So, me like me being so depressed, you know, I, I was going to get laundry done Friday, but I got, I mean, the, they fixed the washers, and so I finally got my laundry done yesterday and you know before work I'm gonna go and um take my shower you know <clears throat> but I, I, I'm scared I, I mean I feel like what I, I mean I'm starting to feel like damn I might as well just quit since they got their hands on knowing where I'm, where I'm at and I don't feel comfortable with that <clears throat> and then Jessica is telling me that um you know, I don't, she try to tell me that you can't run from me, you can't hide from me, and stuff like that, and I will always find you everywhere. That's the stuff she's been telling me, that, that I can't run from her, and I, I can't hide from her, and that she will always find me everywhere. <clears throat> so... That's got me, you know, feeling a certain kind of frightened. But, you know, she's saying that it's illegal for me to go to the library and show, her, yeah, show her harassment and threats and death threats at me, threats to harm me and threats to beat the shit out of me. I mean, threats to beat the shit out of me, threats to harm me, threats to um get a gun and shoot me. And stuff like that. And tell me she has a gun. And threats to get me banned from everywhere. Threats to get my job taken away. Threats to get me, you know. All this horrible stuff. So that's why I say if she, she's followed through with a lot of stuff she said she's going to do. She did. <clears throat> so... Star Bricker, she doesn't even warn me in advance. She just fucking does it and sneaks behind my back. And then I hear her bragging about how, like, Star Bricker, on, I caught her on the T.I. Watch blog with Stefan Adams. I caught Star Bricker bragging about getting me banned from Sky Zone and laughing about it. And it's, and it's it's her being responsible. It's like I even caught her bragging about being the one 
to show my twin sister my YouTube videos. And that's when my twin sister got on board. She she um probably told Anika and her husband about, you know, my blog and stuff or, or my videos. It's like whenever I talk about someone, Star Bricker always is the one to contact them and tell them, show them about my videos, like previous jobs and certain restaurants. If I go to a, to a certain restaurant, <clears throat> you know, and, and that perp that was at 532 West Garden Street. Um, that all those vegan soul cafe, that guy, the owner of the restaurant was perping me and she showed him about my videos and told him about me, you, you know, about me exposing him, perping me <clears throat> and stuff like that. And the, it's like, they want to keep me in fear and act like they think they own me. And Star Bricker wants to try to force me to stop writing eBooks. But she wanted to try to say, oh, how can, how can, um, how, how can, how can, um, she'd be like, well, how can I, how does Candy know that I have, um, a, a go buy me a coffee also? Well, duh, bitch, you went and come and follow me on there. That's why. And I got the screenshot of that. What do you mean? How do I know that, that you have a, um, buy me a coffee? And then she went on and, and, and harassed me with at least two or three accounts. And I, and you know, so, and she went to stalk and follow me on medium.com and she went to stalk, follow 